This isn't my Final Fantasy anymore. Is a sentence I read several times on social media when Final Fantasy 16 was released. While the trade press was handing out dream scores, my Twitter feed seemed to be full of fans who didn't seem to like the gameplay of the new Square Enix title. Action combat? Blood? Politics? That's not how it went. This was no longer the Final Fantasy of series veterans. And I couldn't quite understand the problem. I wasn't really interested in the title myself at first, since I had my hands full with other games anyway. However, the discourse around the genre change of Final Fantasy XVI and the supposed departure from what actually constitutes a title of this series made me prick up my ears. And perhaps it's important to say up front that I absolutely believe that a new game in a renowned series should be absolutely no good to you. I myself only gave Street Fighter V as much attention as was necessary. It wasn't until the release of Street Fighter VI that Capcom was able to capture and excite me again. That's totally fair in my eyes, too. What had interested me more in this context, is Final Fantasy XVI really not worthy of its franchise title? It's not turn-based at all. One of the most common takes I read was the issue surrounding Final Fantasy XVI's battle system, where Square Enix has moved away a bit more from its earlier JRPG roots and opted for character action in the style of Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. Unmistakably a hard break from the titles that came before. But has a tradition really been broken here? I dove into the game series very late due to a lack of hardware. My first Final Fantasy was the 8th installment as a PC version. And all subsequent parts of the series that I played had a completely different battle system and gameplay elements. Final Fantasy VIII, ATB Combat System. Final Fantasy X, Strictly Turn-Based. Final Fantasy XII, Action-Based Auto Attack with Programmable NPCs. Final Fantasy XIV, Tab Targeting. Final Fantasy XV, Open World with Action Combat System. Looking back, New mechanics were experimented with again and again within the time. It is correct that the origin of the games was turn-based combat, which later evolved into an ATB combat system. But especially the last releases all played differently. The last time a Final Fantasy title had the same combat system as its predecessor was in 2000, with the release of Final Fantasy IX. I, as a fan of turn-based JRPGs, completely understand the desire to be able to play more games with this mechanic. However, the chance of Final Fantasy XVI returning to this system was very unlikely from the start. But turn-based fans don't have to be sad. After all, there are some great games with Dragon Quest XI, Chained Echoes or Octopath Traveler 2 that offer this kind of battle system. Why is the game so gloomy? Having not watched many trailers for Final Fantasy XVI beforehand to avoid potential spoilers, I too was surprised by the tone of the title. Although I had read about a Game of Thrones flair before, I couldn't really imagine anything about it. However, it quickly becomes clear what that means, violence, sex, politics, and deep world building with some lore. What's not entirely clear to me is the downside of this. And even less why this makes Final Fantasy XVI less of a Final Fantasy than its predecessors. After all, the very things that captivate me about Part XVI are the same aspects that kept me glued to the previous games, the world, its characters and the exciting unfolding of their destinies. Whoever now says that the material is more violent than before must have closed their eyes and ears to a few other titles, murder, political intrigue, xenophobia, climate change, all topics that Final Fantasy hasn't closed its eyes to in the past. At the same time, Final Fantasy XVI also offers all the elements you'd expect from a title in the series, crystals, chocobos and the now iconic summons are an essential part of the world and central to the story. What is your Final Fantasy anyway? And that brings us back to the statement that got me interested in Final Fantasy XVI in the first place, it's not my Final Fantasy anymore. I could understand saying that you don't like action games, and therefore the title doesn't appeal to you. Something the developers absolutely had in mind. After all, the game offers numerous, optional, training wheels for players who primarily want to experience the world and story. What I personally really miss a bit is extensive character customization. Of course, it is possible to equip new items and learn skills, but this is unfortunately a bit shallow. However, even this aspect doesn't make the 16th part any less of a Final Fantasy. The last open character development we probably had was in Final Fantasy X. Ultimately, at no point did I feel like I was experiencing a game here that wasn't worthy of the Final Fantasy label. The same driving aspects that captivated my younger self in front of the screens are still present here, a rousing story that mirrors real-world problems, with characters whose fate really interests you, wrapped in a bombastic soundtrack. Perhaps this isn't the Final Fantasy I liked best is more the correct statement. And neither will any of the games in the future.